right? Well, I think secrecy, I've learned this in the evolution of, of, of myself. And in fact, you've even witnessed that evolution, Anna, yourself and knowing me, I would think that um, there's an evolution to Project Veritas. And I think that there's, when you joined on board, there was a sort of, I wrote in the last book, American Pravda, oh, we're like in, an intelligence operation. Well, I, I was I was struggling to identify, to define what we were. We're not an intelligence operation. We have mm -hmm. something in common with people who work as detectives, if you will, because we use pretense. We use that, that there's an overlap. But ultimately, the distinguishing factor between the spy, which is what the New York Times characterized you as, and the mm -hmm. journalist is this. The spy works on behalf of the state or private interest, and the journalist works on behalf of the public interest, the public's right to know. And that's, and that's of course, there's overlap and there's something in common, but I struggle to define who we are and what we were because nobody does what we do in this day and age. No one's ever really done this before. People did it 100 years ago, but they didn't use hidden cameras in the way that we do. So um, when it comes to secrets, we only keep three things secret. We keep the names of our donors secret, and people might think that's a bad idea, but that goes back to the NAACP case in the 1950s. The freedom of association right is, is central to the First Amendment. Otherwise, people are afraid to support causes that are interesting to them. And you, we keep the identity of our sources secret. Well, that's self-evident. You don't want to compromise your person inside the government that's giving you video or documents. And we keep the... Um, ongoing investigations that we have going on secret. That, that'd be the equivalent to when you're playing a game of chess, you don't want the person you're playing against to know what your next move is going to be. Those yeah. are the only three things that we keep secret. And if we try to keep anything else secret, people will just write hit pieces about us and expose what we're doing. So they want to keep everything secret. And, and, and the, the trap you fall into is when you attempt to keep other things secret. Spies, for example, love mm -hmm. to keep secrets. I don't. I, I've been in the discovery process of all of our lawsuits. Please do inspect me. Look at my emails. You're, you'll find that we run a fairly ethical operation. But when you open up their emails, when you look into what they're doing, you find that uh, you find they're not doing very things very ethically.